U.S. history, killing more than 100 people, and many families still in the rebuilding process as we speak. Our Joe Vigil traveled to Maui last fall as part of our team coverage of the fires, and he's sharing the message of one survivor tonight. Well, John, one year after fire destroyed Lahaina Town, a survivor wants people on the mainland to know something about what's happening there right now. There's a constant reminder of the loss of lives, the loss of the town. Shane Kahahane lost his sister, cousin, and many friends during the August 8th fire. Properties owned by his grandfather, granduncle, and mother-in-law used to dot the shoreline of Front Street in Lahaina. His own home just across the street from where the fire started. The wind was blowing westerly. If it was blowing northerly, we'd be gone. And now, a year later. Lahaina doesn't look like Lahaina. I mean, it's not. It's, it's a name, Lahaina, but you don't see anything recognizable. The memorial is just on the street from me, so I see that daily. You know, so. Constant reminder. There are signs of progress. It's a little bit brighter downtown now because all that debris is removed, the ash is removed, the black chart, not as dark as it was months ago. But for those who don't live it every day. What I really want people to know in the mainland is that if whatever tourist visit is, Lahaina is still hurting emotionally and it's not, it's not, life is, Life is not normal. It, it's still difficult for everybody. Kahahane says people shouldn't be discouraged from visiting, but should know this. If people come to Maui, we still need a lot of help. And if you have a trip to Maui coming up or are planning one, there are places to volunteer with shifts as short as two hours. Resource centers also still take monetary donations. All of this is under this story on Fox5Vegas.com. And Joe, you were just la there last November. Right. What stuck out to you in your reporting there? You know, I think it was uh, the number of people who died. I mean, 102 people. Uh, each day we went in and out of Lahaina, we drove by all the crosses. We could see them right mm -hmm. there. Uh, the other thing was all the people who lost homes and really the huge, uh, huge need for help. Uh, the very busy distribution center for people who lost everything. We've, that's the first place we visited. Now that's uh, still very busy today and we will take you back there. 10 o'clock you'll hear from a Las Vegas man who went to volunteer for five days. He is still there. Pretty yeah. amazing, yeah. Speaks to the long road yep. these folks have to get yeah, back to Yeah, marathon for sure, not a sprint. All right, yep. Joe, thank you yep. so much. Mm -hmm. And in just